One afternoon in December 1985, a small courtroom in the city of Houston, Texas was packed full of people. They'd been waiting patiently for several hours for the judge to arrive and give his decision. The courtroom was so hot that day that people were in danger of fainting, but not a single person left to go outside. Everyone knew that if he or she left the courtroom even for a few minutes, they'd never be able to get back in. So crowded was the court with TV cameras and newspaper men. There were also a huge number of local people who just wanted to know how this case would turn out. Yet, surprisingly, this crowd wasn't there for a criminal case. This was no local murder and no Houston bank had been robbed of a huge sum of money. Astonishingly, this was a commercial law case based on two areas of law, the law of contract and the law of tort. To be precise, it was a case that depended on whether or not a contract existed between two parties, even though those two parties hadn't written anything down or signed any formal documents. The case also looked at a second question. This was, assuming that an oral contract did exist, whether or not a third party had deliberately interfered with an agreement that was already binding upon the two parties who had made it. So why was this particular civil case so interesting to the people waiting in that hot, crowded courtroom? Well, Texas is oil country. And this dispute was a battle between two absolute giants of the oil industry, Texaco Oil and Penn's Oil. And in this battle of the super-rich oil corporations, the cost of losing would be close to $11 billion.